Hello folks, I'm Owen Spack. Welcome back to the last part, part number 19 of Let's Replay New Super Mario Bros. Wii. On the last time, on the last part, we uh, showed off the warp cannon and that you have to do all of them. I mean, I only showed off the one, but I said you have to do all of them in order to fully complete this game. So, provided I've done everything correctly, when we when we beat the last level on this part, it'll say that we've done everything and it'll be like, yay, and that's literally it. Kind of a big disappointing. Uh, I didn't really mention this, but uh, this World 9, uh, it has a... Uh, the, the song itself has a kind of a brief reference to uh, Mario Kart 64. Right there, you heard it. That's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> that's Mario Kart 64, you, you know, Rainbow Road. That's, that's the joke, I guess. All right, anyway, uh, we're on to World 9, 5 now. You guys remember when World 5 was was the jungle world? Well, this game's like, nah, ice penguins. Also, ice penguins. So yeah, the penguin suit gets one last hurrah in this level here. We didn't, like I said, like, after what, World 4? We didn't really see much of it after that. It was pretty much gone. It just kind of existed. I could have used it, but... I think all I did was bring it into Bowser's castle, and that was it. Just as a kind of a final shout out, final shoot out to the penguin suit. So the first two star coins, pretty easy to get, no big deal. Honestly, I don't really have to hit this, but I don't know, I, I did. Let's see if that ends up messing me over somehow. So I bet you didn't think this level would have fuzzies in it, but you'd be wrong, it does. Uh, and they suck because they're fuzzies. Uh, you can destroy them though, so that's the that's the good news. Uh, but you don't want to destroy all of them because there's one you need to get the last star coin. Actually, it's a very—I mean, I guess you could use a propeller suit too, but I don't have that. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to very sneakily bring these ice blocks up here. I mean, I don't know what else they are. They're just blocks of ice. I'm gonna somehow knock it into that brick block, making this tougher to do. I don't know how that happened, but okay, sure. Let's try this again. <laughs> Alright, and I want to take that other fuzzy too. I don't have to do this. I'm just doing it because, like, I just wanted to make this easier for myself. And I'm, I'm somehow going to mess this up. I don't know how. Remember, when you have the penguin suit, you don't suffer ice physics. So, it's just, it's hard for me to remember that sometimes. There's no ice physics. Alright, so all I gotta do is freeze this guy, and then we can jump on him. There we go. Hopefully he stays frozen for this last lap around here. Um, Uh-oh. Oh, we just... I mean, we had a little bit of time. I probably didn't have to jump as early as I did, but we're still good. Alright, now I'm just gonna take out some more of these fuzzies here, because they suck. I just... I don't like fuzzies. I'm sorry. I'm not... I'm not a fan. I mean, they have their Paper Mario design, so that's kind of neat, but whatever. Honestly, I'm really glad I got through that level, because when I was practicing, this and 9-4 and were the were my biggest challenges. Surprisingly, the level, the, like I said, that's probably the hardest level that's coming up here. Um, it, it wasn't hard for me. I did it first try, but... You know, that was, of course, because I wasn't recording. I'm sure when I'm recording, it's going to be very difficult. Because I remember when I was when I originally recorded this, how tough that level was. It took me forever to do. Oh my goodness, it took forever. But then once you get it all done, it's like it's like a minute long. Um, but this is not that. This is a uh, 9-6, which is uh, honestly a nice easy romp compared to uh, anything we've had so far. I don't think this one's bad at all. It's not an auto-scroller, which is nice. It's got this sweet uh, World 8 music in it, so that's also nice. And it's just got some, like, volcanoes once in a while, and I think fire chomps appear at some point. And, I mean, they're not a big deal. So, I'm not too worried. Just a lot of waiting. I mean, maybe I could jump over this, but, eh, I'm not risking it. Yeah, some fire, of course. Of course! How dare you? If I get hit by that guy twice. 
There's nothing worse than getting hit by the same enemy twice. That's when you're just like, oh my goodness, why? <sighs> Thankfully, I didn't have to deal with that. And of course, because this is Mario, you can take out any fire, any fire enemy with fire. All right, watch this sweet red coin collect. That's pretty nice. That's pretty cool, it makes you feel really good. Did I need to do that? No. Oh, shoot, I thought this, uh, I thought that looped around, like, I thought it was like a rotating square, not like a, an arc. No, that was, that was almost, I, I like, my stomach, like, it, uh, it froze there for a second. My stomach froze, my heart jumped, I don't know the right words. All right, well, this is the end of the level, and there's the last star coin. Uh, and to get it, there's just a platform here, so. That's it. That's it! I probably could have won at this point, but I'm... I've wussed out now. I had all the time in the world to do this. Oh, well. Not much we can... Oh, I gotta wait for this guy again. Okay. <laughs> Come on, are you serious? After all that? So that was the end of the level, so I gotta do all of that again. Yay. Can't wait. Fine, let's use a propeller. I'm gonna use a propeller and a star man. I literally have seven starman level. I you know, actually mini mushroom would have been good too. Alright. See you at the end, I guess. Okay, we're back here again, but now I have the propeller suit, so I can cheese this hard. <laughs> yes, I got through the whole level without getting hit. Can you believe it? I know. It's a miracle, but whatever. I I just I didn't want to deal with it. I'm like, no, nope, this isn't happening. <laughs> I'm not I'm not having this. And I made sure that I had well, you know, I was gonna say I made sure I had 99 lives before I beat the level, but I mean I guess I could have just got that live too and it wouldn't have mattered, wouldn't have. Huh. Oh well. Alright, so here is debatably you know, it's debatably the hardest level in the game. Honestly, this level isn't bad if you're not trying to get all the star coins, but if you're this far into the game, come on, you're trying to get all the star coins because, like, you're not playing this level for fun. Alright, this is take three of this level. I'm using a star man because I'm trying to get through it as fast as I can. <laughs> so, lots of things just happened there as I skipped uh, most of this beginning part of this level. But... The main gimmick of this level is everything sets on fire and does bad things. These ice blocks melt and either make enemies with these uh, black piranha plants here. Um, or, or munchers, whatever they're called, whatever you want to call them. There's muncher plants, there's a bunch of names for them. Or, they set off these coins, which, I mean, not a big deal, but they're platforms. Or... They set off these Goomba hibernating guys. I, I don't know. They're in like these little like spiky acorn things. I have no idea. Um, but yeah, you can't jump on them obviously without setting them off first. There's lots of fireballs in this level, so you don't have to really worry about taking hits. The, the biggest problem with this level is just honestly just getting through it. Or not getting through it. Getting the star coin, so that's bad. Because now I'm going to rely on the Fire Bro, unfortunately, for this last star coin. I'm going to rely on this guy to set off these uh, blocks for me. So I'm going to let him do this. That should be good. As long as I don't die here. Okay, unfortunately he set off one of those there, which is not good. So I think what I want to do here is do this, this, and there we go. We're good. That's That's got to be one of the hardest star coins to get in this game. Honestly, but there we go. It's like I said, it's not a long level It's just got a lot of stuff to deal with in it That is the big problem with this level is is just trying to get all the star coins You can you can just run through that level. No big deal. You saw me use the star man I could have cut through so much more of that level if I wanted to But it's just trying to get through and get all the star coins in that level. That's really tough and It's it's frustrating you want to get through it of course you know, when I was practicing, I did it in one try, and this took me like, you know, it only took me, what, four tries? So, it's not a big deal, I guess. Here, we'll use a star, man, why not? It's the last level, sure. It doesn't matter. 
So this is World 9-8. This is like a celebratory, hey, you, uh, you beat the game kind of level. Like, you're a super player. But, I mean, like, it's half that, though. There's also a toad in one of these, too. Oh, well, you're gone, Toad. Sorry. I really wanted to save you there, but I couldn't. Yeah, this is pretty much a celebration. Like, congrats, you beat the game. Kind of level. Like, all of these blocks have extra lives in them. You know, in case you wanted more lives. There you go. A whole bunch of them. Right in here for you. But, I mean, you still can die. I mean, you're not invincible in this level or anything. It's not, like, just a free pass. But, I mean, it pretty much is. It's not a tough level. Alright, then we got the mini mushroom, because why not? So yeah, when you when you use the mini mushroom in this level, like on these things, you fly. So just be really careful, because you have very low gravity with the mini mushroom. i try to get this without dying. So like I said, I'm, I'm not invincible. Like, the level's not... Okay, I, I really need this. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. Like, this is a one-and-done kind of level. I really do not want to do this again. I think all it's going to give me right now, honestly, is probably just mini mushrooms. So also, we have a new enemy. Yeah, in the final level of the game, we got King Bills. Um, that's their name. It's pretty lame, not gonna lie. But uh, they're just really big. <laughs> they're really big bonsai bills, and... They have coin trails to denote where they are, so... Don't worry, you're fine, as long as you're paying attention. You'll be good. And I think in one of these blocks... Here, we'll, we'll get we'll get this so that, you know, I don't die. <laughs> so I don't die in one hit anymore. In one of these blocks here... is a P-switch. And the reason you want to hit that is it shows you the last location of a King Bill there. So, that's a little hidden path showing you, hey, there's there's one more at the end. I think when I originally recorded this, I died to that last King Bill. Because I wasn't paying attention and I had the mini mushroom. And I died to him. And it was, it was pretty, uh, pretty lame, honestly. Pretty embarrassing. But yeah, guys, that's, uh... That's, uh... That's the game. Look, that's the fanfare you get. That's that's your that is your reward for for doing this incredibly frustrating. This is this is honestly probably like the worst part of this game is the special world. <laughs> and that's your reward for getting all the star coins in it and finding all the exits in the game is that little fanfare and the game telling you you've beat all of the worlds. Yay us. Look at us go. Yeah, we've done everything in the game. So, I'm pretty sure we checked this out last time. But I'm assuming, now that we have done the whole game, that we have all of the all of these open to us now? I, I would guess. It's possible some of those were questions. I don't know if I showed this off or not. But it's possible some of the, the ones that were missing... Maybe they only unlocked when I went in the cannons. That's the only thing I could guess. But it just seems really weird. It is nice that they show you where all like the hidden... I think all of the hidden exits are in here. If I, I wanted to say. So I I'm pretty sure they are. They show like the tower ones and stuff. And World 3 doesn't have one. World 4 has a tower secret goal. Yeah. I think it has all of them. If there's one missing, then I'm not sure. But I think it does. But then, then again, this game out. This game came out when YouTube existed, <laughs> so people were really quick to already upload stuff. Like, you know, like me, <laughs> like me. All right, well, that's gonna do it for the main part of the project. We've beaten all of the levels. Might as well save the game. Might as well give this a final wrap up before the end here. So this is what did I say. This was part nineteen. This is the final part. Um, I do, like I said, I do want to check out the multiplayer stuff. Not, not just beating the multiplayer stuff, but like these things specifically, because there are, there's five exclusive levels, I believe, in the coin battle mode, um, that you can only play in here. 
and they're, I mean, they're not much, but like they're exclusive to it. So, but they are also multiplayer. So I want to show those off multiplayer. Um, so I'm hoping that I can get those recorded and ready for you soon. You don't have to wait too long after this project's done. Uh, and it, if it is so soon, then I'll just I'll just tack it on as part 20. And if it's way later in the future, I'll just tack it on as an extra. <laughs> You'll know probably. Um, but yeah, so these these five uh, shiny gold stars here. That's our reward for doing everything this game has to offer: finding all the secret exits, uh, beating all the levels, finding all the star coins. We actually had three of them um, for everything we had done before World 9, which I think is just beating the game and then beating all the levels and all the getting all the star coins up until up until World 9. And then I think the World 9 ones are you get all the star coins in that world and you get an extra star. And then I think the final one is finding all the secret exits and activating all the cannons, I want to say. But if that's the case, that doesn't really add up. So... You know, it honestly doesn't matter. Just do everything. You get all of them. <laughs> you get to feel better. Um, you get to feel better about yourself. <laughs> that you got everything done. <laughs> that you're good. Um, and I think they shine if you don't use any continues, I want to say. But again, I could just be speculating that. But I'm pretty sure if you don't run out of lives, that's what does it. I don't think there's a super guide in this game, is there? I don't think that was introduced yet. So if it was, then... I know in later games, if you use the super guide, I think it takes away any of the shininess on the stars. I'm pretty sure. What, what am I saying? This is all speculation. Like, I don't even know. Like, what a what a great Let's Player I am, right? I'm sorry. I don't have all the information for you. But, you know, I, what I do know is this game is pretty fun. And uh, it still holds up. But it's, it's kind of funny because this is kind of like the only way to play it, right? This, like, this game has never been re-released. I... Is it is it downloadable in Odin in the you know add this in post? Is this downloadable on the Wii U virtual console? Like is that one of the titles they put out on it? So like there'll be like a caption if it was or not, or maybe like an image of it. I don't know. I'm gonna have to check after this. But if not, like this is like the only if there's not like this is like the only way to play this game, which is so weird to think of that. Like there's a lot of Mario games that have never been released, like Sunshine and. Well, I guess the, I guess Mario 64 had a DS version. I don't know. It's just weird to think. Like, this game came out in, like, what, 2009? Yeah, 2009. And the fact that, like, it's 11 years and, like, the, the only way to play it is still on the original Wii just seems odd. I'm sure it'll get a re-release in the future. There's rumors of that, but... Oh, well, may maybe by the time this video goes up, those will have come true. I'm, as a, I'm recording this as of June 28th. So you'll probably see this sometime in July. So, Oh well, well thank you for watching this Let's Replay. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a nice blast to the past uh, playing this again. It felt a whole lot different this time than when I originally did it. I felt a lot more confident and I knew what I was doing. And I had other Mario games to go off of, which was nice too. It didn't just feel like a nostalgia trip. It was fun appreciating this game for what it is, and I think it is mostly um, a fun platformer. I think it has a rough start. I think worlds one and two are kind of weak. They're kind of boring intro worlds compared to compared to other Mario games. But once you get into world three, like after that, I think the gimmicks and that that they introduce are just lots of fun, especially with the penguin suit. It's a lot of good goodness there, and just yeah, it's yeah. All right, watch well, this up like rambling on and keep going about this but thank you for watching i will see you guys uh if there is an if there is another official part it'll be the multiplayer if not there'll be an extra video in the future but uh until then take care and goodbye farewell till we meet again